Hey there, YouTube. Danger Evolution. Bring you deck of the month for uh, May. Uh, just bring you. As you guys can see, it's Rabbit, but it's a different version of um, Rabbit. Um, so yeah, let me just get right to the deck and explain so much choices and why I made this deck. Cause it's really, really, uh, it's really, really good. Uh, of course, you have three bunnies. You might think, oh, this is. No, you know, a Dino Rabbit deck. You guys gonna see the difference between a Dino Rabbit deck and this. So you have three bunnies, and of course you have to play your three whores, which are your three tour guides. They go really good with bunnies, and you know, shenanigans happen. Uh, one Sangan can switch out bunnies and the tour guides. Triple Cubazool. And this is the only dinosaur you run. Uh, and you might be seeing right now Stratos, and you might be like, what the hell? Uh, this is like a hero rabbit version. Uh, you run, you have to run three Cobazos. They're water, which are very important to this deck, and you'll see why. Uh, one Stratos, you know, switches out the heroes in the deck. Triple Alias, you have Gemini Sparks, and pretty much, you know, they become alive with Gemini Sparks, so... You're always going to have a Gemini Spark in this. That, that's what I like about this deck. Triple Spark Man. Uh, it's another way to, to go for um, with Rabbit. You can just go into your uh, Ninja and then that's 4200 damage or a 22 that can attack twice. Um, the last monster, it's Ice Edge. Well, it's not really the last monster. Uh, but yeah, one Ice Edge. And it's supposed to be two Effect Vellers. Uh, I just don't have them right now, so yeah. I say it's two Efe Bellers. Now for the spells, you have, of course, Triple Miracle Fusion, because the deck is heroes, and the deck pretty much can target everything. Even if the rabbit is dead, I mean, it can target it. So if you have a hero, you can go for Gaia or something. So it's a really, really good card. I'll explain some of the choices, some of the card choices. Uh, three Gemini Sparks. Because you know it's Gemini Spark and you have um, three targets only, but you can search them out at any time. So it's really, really good. Uh, double Pot of Duality. Uh, you don't special summon in the first turn, or if you want to set up really, really good, then you activate Pot of Duality. You know, you want to get rid of your pots even if you draw them first. Because uh, you're always going to have place for it. So, yeah. One Rota. So just how the heroes. And this is what makes the deck. Even though if it kills something, this is what makes a deck so good. Fusion Gate. Uh, let's say they kill, you're playing a hero matchup and they use Hero Blast on one of your monsters. You activate this and you just go for um, zero if you have a hero in your hand and you have Copper Zool, let's say. They kill it. It's really, really good. Uh, one Hero Lips. I'm trying to put this at two. This card is really, really good. I mean, it can, it can help you go for games so much. I mean, you can just bring out your... Uh, alias and you have a Gemini Spark, you know, Spark that and it's really, really good. I'm trying to fit in two, but nah, for now, for now, it's just it's working one, just one. Uh, two Forbidden Lands, I don't play MSTs, I think Forbidden Lands is better, you know, because you can blind MST, um, you know, a card and you don't get no, no pluses out of it while you have Forbidden Lands, you know, you get rid of the trap card. Uh, one part of Avarice. You don't use this a lot, but the deck runs out pretty, pretty fast. Uh, so, yeah, Pot of Avarice is always, always good. One Book of Moon, one Dark Hole, one Heavy, and one Monster Reborn. You know, Staples, they have pretty much every deck has it, and one Torrential. I was thinking about running the Solemn Brigade, but, you know, uh, you're going to be paying, like, a lot of life points with... Um, you're going to be taking a lot of life points sometimes, so that, that's the only reason why you just play one turn throw. Now for the extra deck, you know, you have to play th Triple Shining, one Gaia, uh, one Great Tornado, Double Absolute Zero, one Leviar, one Utopia, one Zaymates, this guy that is just so good. It's like a Book of Moon and a Gachi Gachi. You know, since you can possibly go for these two, you can go Lagia or Dalka. And you have to go for double armor ninja. You know, you have so many ways to bring out your heroes back from your grave. And you can keep swinging with these. Uh, let's say you don't have same mains or something. You guys can switch it out for any of these three, I believe. 
Uh, cause you do play if it so you wanna try to run Cataster. I just couldn't find any space. I mean if you don't have Zaymates or, or you don't have the E bulbs or like the Dog or Lagia then you can just go for these three cards. So yeah. Let me explain some of the of the I believe that like the best card card choices. And um why I think this deck like one of my favorite moves, like what I like to do is like Sometimes when they kill my uh, my my rabbit, then um, I usually do this a lot. Like I play this card, you know. You bring out, you know, your status. Let's say you have fusion in your hand, or or anything. Like it doesn't really matter what you bring out. Let's say you have, you get your you know you know your normal Gemini, and you have and they kill uh, bunny when it's in the graveyard. So you, you do miracle fusion. You know, you go for for um, Gaia. So if the boat remove, you can summon Turguide and, you know, get your bunny. So that's, like, one of my favorite plays that I always do. Like, I always do that play. Uh, that's, what hero, that's what I'm trying to put Hero Lives at 3. Uh, but for now, 2 is just really good. Um, there's a lot of plays in this deck, like I said. I mean, with the... The Forbidden Lands, I mean, it keeps most of your monsters alive. So you can just surprise them with the Fusion Gate and then just um, you know, use Fusion Gate to the max. And actually, you can go for a game like really, really quick. Uh, while I played Ice Edge, Ice Edge is really, really good if you have Fusion Gate. You know, you can just go for zero. Uh, even though you have Cup Zoles, then you most likely will not get, like, you will not have them in your hand. And then um everything else is like self self explanatory. Like you just summon two spark mats, you go for let's say the ninja guy. Then just miracle fusion or something. I mean the deck is pretty simple to play. It's just some moves that, that you're just gonna be like, Oh wow, the deck is like really, really good. Uh but yeah, just guys comment below, tell me guys what you guys think of the deck. Uh, I'll, pro I'll probably gonna make dual videos with this deck. I really do enjoy this deck a lot. So, uh, yeah. So just let me know down below. This is deck of the month for May, and uh, yeah, this is Daniel Evolution out.